Betty White bought her home in Brentwood, Los Angeles, in 1968 with her third and final husband Alan Ludden. Betty lived in the property up until her death in December 2021, aged 99. The property was then sold for $10. 6 million, 8.8 .8 million pounds, in June last year as land value, meaning it was always set to be torn down. According to people it was more than 3,000 square feet with 5 bedrooms, 6 bathrooms and a pool. TMZ now reports that the new owners are building a massive mansion in its place. The outlet reported, as per real estate records, that the new owners filed paperwork in February signaling their interest in a new pool, a spa and a new main house. Betty's assistant first shared the news that the house was being torn down in December. Taking to Betty's Instagram, Kirsten Michaels posted a photograph of dust and rubble where the Brentwood home once stood. She wrote in view of Betty's one. 8 million followers, below all. I owe a post, or two, I know. This is such a busy time of year and coming up on the anniversary of Betty's passing is hitting in ways I hadn't anticipated. Don't miss. The one shows Alex Jones gets TV job she's been waiting for, Insight, a place in the sun's Jasmine Harmon goes braless in jaw-dropping dress, pictures, Colleen Nolan frustrated as loose women co-stars question her lifestyle, latest, her Brentwood home is no more, save the fireplaces which will be gone in short order. I promise a wonderful tribute to our most wonderful lady very soon. The news did not go down well with some of the Golden Girls star's loyal fans. Nikia commented, This is terrible. Why demolish such a beautiful icon's home not even a full year after her passing? Maribel added, My dad was her gardener for the last 40 years and while I know a beautiful tribute will be done, it is sad to see her garden that she loved and cherished for decades is now gone. And Allison said, it's hard to see something so loved go, but it's exciting to see what is going to be built there. Following her death, the New York Post reported that Betty had actually preferred her other home in Carmel, California, which she had built with her husband prior to his death in 1981. A source told the publication, she never wanted to leave her home in Carmel, but was forced to for at-home care. Los Angeles was more accessible. If she had it her way, Betty would have lived and died in that home, in Carmel. It's the home she shared with her husband, it's where she felt more comfortable.